Hello, and welcome back. We're on day seven, Thursday. It's pretty much the last day if we want to answer this. Outside the Sadgill Church before Friday. Do not make the mistake of ignoring us. I am very uncertain about that. Dendru sounds like Gilded Dendra. But not exactly the same. I'm not sure if I want to actually get involved in it. Um, I imagine it's going to be a branching path in the story. I think maybe. I think I'm going to ignore them. I'm going to ignore them. And uh, hope for the best. However, we have a different clue to look for. Five miles south of the tallest but one. So it's time to see if this map differentiates mountain heights. Uh, yes it does. There's meters. Okay, the tallest but one. So the second tallest one on the map. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. Tallest might be Seafell Pike. Is there anything that beats 978? There's 902 for, uh, Bowfell? That's not quite... 978, 978. Anything better than that? Anything higher? Um, doesn't look like it. So I think that Bowfell is actually the tallest but one. Which means we need to go five miles south of it. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Let's see if this is where we need to go. That is it. The forest here is lush and vibrant. The birdsong feels enchanting like the call of sirens. Nestled in the undergrowth under the shade of a birch tree, a plant grows. Oh, you're an interesting little bugger. What do you look like? Large blue flower with an odd protrusion. I, I mean, I think this thing's odd all around. Okay. Let's go ahead and ring the bell, see who comes. Ann Wood first. She was the one with the coffin. I was able to strip away the swift, sniffed snare, swift snare's vines and lift the lid with more than a little trepidation, I'll admit. To my relief, but also disappointment, the coffin contained nothing but dust. At least that's what I thought at first, but when I looked closer, I discovered a golden amulet embedded in the gray ash. On the back of the amulet is an inscription that says, With Solomon's scepter I awake. That's a plant, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It's used in magic stuff. I haven't identified it yet, but, uh, Hell's Gate and Solomon's Scorn. Oh, man, it's gonna be sweet-smelling small flowers along a stem. Okay, hold on. Dark purple. Light purple and the smell is alluring. I think that's the one. Good luck. You're gonna go wake something up from those ashes. Alright. Long varicund, which is remedy. Believed to lift curses. Small leaves grow in pairs along the stem. Ha. Huh. Is there anything I haven't identified that's got that little, uh, like, leaf pattern? I don't think so. Might be a plant I haven't found yet. Okay. Ring the bell. I got a letter. I heard a shepherd got killed by some wild beasts up near the Swinside Stone Circle. Alright, is that a new guy? Or they say it slaughtered half his flock as well. People around here don't seem too bothered, but it's got them panicked down Foxfield Way. Okay. Kentmere Eye. Who sent this and where it w Hold on. Kentmere Eye, Kentmere Eye. Is that a place? It's gotta be a place, right? Kentmere Eye. Kentmere. But I don't know what eye is. 
know I, I don't have anything for that. Um, we can go to Kentmere and see if anything comes of it. I descend into a pleasant valley where the village of Kentmere is situated. On my way, I pass the Brockstone, or Badger, Badger Rock, which has always been popular with the local children who challenge each other to scramble up its craggy sides. I make a beeline to the village church, St. Cuthbert's, which is sheltered by an ancient yew tree. There are many plants to admire amongst the headstones and tombs, but sadly, nothing extraordinary for me to find today. Okay, that was not the answer to that. Kentmere Eye? What do you mean, Kentmere Eye? I haven't figured this out yet. I, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. Like, no? Okay, I didn't think so. Um... I don't know what red abony plant is. Uh, I'm gonna check just in case red abony is a alternate name for something, so I'm gonna be reading for a moment. Um, okay, uh, Brimlock, no. Butterdale, not that I'm seeing. Um, okay, no, no. Uh, Candlewood has a red flower, but it's not also known as red abony. Um, Lox, Trous, Common Trous, no. Copper. Mm -mm. I've got the feeling this is Henchuck. Yeah, firm and turquoise. Uh, yeah, that's Henchuck. Anyway, uh, Hopheart. No. Jacob's Worth. Lady of Summer. Lemon Dandy. Long Barricand, Maiden Sorrow, Mary's Breath, Meek Dew, um, Mellow Glow, Fennet, Wren, Everhard a Royal Gentia, Shimmerlung, Uh, Solomon's Scepter, St. John's Poppy, Storian, oh boy, highly poisonous, resulting in insanity and then death, oh great, Sunset Mount, Tra Mount Cap, uh, Wandering Bew, Winter Boar, I'm not seeing anything that says Red Abony. <laughs> No, that's it. That's all I've got. Okay, I am at a point where I am a little stuck. Kent me or I? I'll bet you anything this has got a stupid- I need the- Yep. I need the stupid red abony, but I don't know what red abony is. Alright. Uh, let's ring the bell and see what brings. Hello, Verona. Well, this is getting interesting. I was able to confirm that it was indeed gilded dendra that was used at the Swanside ritual site. Again. Okay, I was thinking it was a different thing altogether. That's a worrying sign. It's a plant that is used in several of the darker incantations. Oh boy. And it can't be a coincidence that the very same plant was used to poison the Arda. There must be a connection between this other murder and the Sisterhood. I need some mental clarity to think through it some more. 
some maiden sorrow would help a lot. I think this is the one. Yep. Okay. Red Amity! Where is it? Where is it? What is it? Extremely rare, not well studied. Red parts. Since confusing the large flower is in fact blue! It's that! It's that! It's that thing! It's that thing! It's that thing! It's got the weird little thingy in it! It's got the weird little thingy in it! Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can't be your eye. Hold. No. No. Nothing. Nothing. Wait a second. Okay, those are glowing, but they're all glowing blue. They're all the same. I'm not getting anything off of that, right? Like, nothing. Okay. I'm now going to look at absolutely everything. It works. Thank you. Um, so I've got that sorted, but none of these- I thought for sure this would have something secret on it because there's so much empty space. Like, what am I supposed to do with this? Kentmere I? E-Y-E? I mean... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna open the map. Just in case. Who? The Great Oak. Okay, there's something there. Tomb of the Hunter. Yeah! Elder Finium grows here. I got three places of note. Elder Finium grows here, the Great Oak, and Tomb of the Hunter. Okay, okay. Now we're getting places. So. Uh, let's go for Elder Finium grows here. That is, uh, looks like... The P... Q... 38. Q38. Yep, let's go! Thirty, not thirty-eight. My bad. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the one. Whoever wrote in my help has been very helpful. I would never have thought to come out this desolate place in search of plant life, but this quick search yields exciting results. Yep. All right. Now we're getting places. Now we're doing stuff. You don't go here. You go over in my berries. Thank you. Okay. Haha. <laughs> Alright, I'm getting a. Uh, yeah, I'm getting stuff. The Great Oak is. Let's see, where is that? That is. N9. N9. Go to the N9 next. I need to check something. Just in case. I've got my doubts, but uh, you never know. Because what if, you know? What if? It's not worth checking every single one. It, I, I doubt. I doubt that they've done this. It's more likely to be on letters and things. Oh, letters and things. Hold on a second. I can look at old letters. Seriously doubt that it's gonna have stuff, but you never know. Always gotta look. Okay, nothing there. Nothing there, that was my little map. Okay. Okay. Nothing in the sisterhoods. Okay, nothing in the archive. But, I have that now. And I have the will to explore, let's go. I believe I said N9 for the Great Oak. 
Yep, a huge tree stands before me, impossibly tall and tall and wide, bigger than I could have ever imagined any living thing might be. Ugh. Its upper branches graze the sky. Okay, it was interesting, but I didn't get anything from it, unfortunately. Tomb of the Hunter. B14. Might not get anything from that either, but now I know where I'm looking if I get sent to those places. Reuben Ward. Hello again. Looks like I'm gonna have to make a trip to Black Blackcomb. Verona noticed something at the Swinside site that's had me pondering. A piece of slate with a symbol drawn on it in black. Can't think of anywhere else around here where you get slate from. That and Bradley Miller keeps insisting he saw something up at Blackcomb. But then Bradley Miller does claim that fairies stole his wheelbarrow. If I'm going to spend a night out in the hills, I'll want to take some Eyebright with me. Wouldn't want anyone sneaking up on me in the dark. Okay, Eyebright I have not identified. Brightly colored thorns. Oh boy. Okay, so it's definitely not that. That's uh, Maiden's Sorrow. That's Mellow Glow. Ah, this will be the one. Yep. Brightly colored thorns indeed. Something called Wild Coal. Hair of the dog mentality is a tonic for those suffering the effects of having drunk too much the night before. Okay. Interesting. Ring the bell. Forest bear. Oh, you've got very green eyes. You have a reputation in town for knowing about unusual plants. I need some grey sand fire. Nobody around here seems to even know what I'm talking about, but I hope I'm in the right place now. Okay. Rough, tough outer bark. Uh, dental hygiene. Smoky scent. I'm wondering if this is it. Yep. That's the one. Okay, what was that plant that causes, like, issues with green eyes? Oh, we've got Ember Soul now. Uh, or rather, we've got an entry on it. Protective properties. Various deities for sanctuary. Flowers with many petals. Watch out for leaves. They're razor sharp. But yeah, there was something that um, did something to the eyes that made them bright, bright green on, on an overdose. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's definitely none of those. Okay, let's see. I'm just very curious right now. Um, no, that's a balm against ice strain. That's not it. <coughs> there it is. Dranthium. Men's Fortis. Green eye. Telltale sand of overdose, or even the whites of the ice take on a green tint. Plant with powerful mind-altering abilities. Inhale smoke and elevate their awareness to levels otherwise unachievable. I'm wondering if that guy has had some of that. Because that was extremely green. So let's go ahead and end the day. We'll save the will to explore for whatever card we get. Lowick to Ig Ilgil Head. Boxfield to Crinkle Crags. Okay, we're looking for a uh, cross section, a, a T intersection of those. At first she felt free, but it wasn't long before the reality of her situation began to take its toll. She stole food when she was hungry and slept in makeshift shelters, not knowing where she was going, not caring. Eventually she made her way to Grisedale Forest. Okay, whose story are we following? Day 8, Friday. Our actions may have consequences this day. So, let's go ahead and see if we can find that place. Lowick to Ilgil Head. Foxfield to Crinkle Crags. Crinkle Crags is here. Now, where is Foxfield? 
There's Loic. Uh, there's Foxfield. Foxfield to Crinkle Crags. Oh, that's diagonal. Oh dear. I was assuming they'd be like straight lines. Foxfield, Ilgal Head, Crinkle Crags, Loic. Oh dear. Okay, so I've got a cross there and a cross there. The question is. Where do they intersect? Oh no, I need I need string or something. I need a ruler. Um, I'm gonna hold a pen against the screen so I can uh, low it. It'll go ahead. Foxfield, Crinkle Crags. That should be right about. I can't tell if it's crossing on H13. Or I thirteen. It's like right in between them. I want to try I thirteen. I think. Yeah, because it. It's it. They aren't perfectly diagonal to each other, like on a uh, like forty five degree angle. Let's try I-13. If not, we'll go for H-13, I guess. There it is. The magpie sees me before I see it. I do not know how long it has been watching me, but I can tell that it is interested in my movements. A strange sensation creeps over me, and I feel an urge to leave this place, but not before collecting a plant for further study. One for sorrow. Turning to leave, I see another magpie and another plant I've never seen before. Two for joy. Interesting. Purple flowers with a gentle scent. Purple flowers with a delicate scent. Uh, or purple turning to pink. So that'll go here. And this will go there. This is meant to be over here. Excuse you. You're weird. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Let's ring the bell and see. Ennis Aylford. Any secrets? No? Okay. Ignoring our offer was a mistake, horticulturist. The Dendru has awoken. The redemption is upon us, and when it arrives, you will not be spared. Mm okay. I just got a update to the thing. Oh, he's got a gun. Hold on. Forrest is one of the Drare, a group that builds a tolerance to the harmful effects of Dranthium from childhood so they can harness the plant's potent mind-enhancing abilities. It comes at a price. They will die if they stop taking it. Rumors that an ancient evil has arisen were too much for Forrest to resist. Drare means hunter in the old tongue. He has traveled a long way to kill it. Interesting. Oh boy. Okay, I haven't seen anything with her since I gave her the anxiety thing. Uh, Beth was born to a loving family, never felt settled, sought out higher purpose, left home at 14 to join the sisterhood. Yarda took a liking, helped her to develop a renewed purpose, caring for the forest and putting her faith in the goddess Arduina. Now her mentor has been murdered and Beth is looking for answers. Yep. Verona Green, the occult scholar. Okay. She also brews a cup, lovely cup of tea, that's nice. Reuben Ward. Works with police on murder cases. Kind, good-humored man, but behind the mask he's deeply sad. His only child, a daughter, had seen troubled for some time before running away from home several years ago. The victims whose stories he tries to uncover are all somebody's son, somebody's daughter. The search for answers drives him forward, piecing together the logic of life and death. Simone loves books and reading. She's also irritatingly organized and has become the overwhelming task of rearranging the library at Ambleside. Her new system works, but it will take years to catalogue every book, scroll, pamphlet, and diary. In the meantime, every day yields new discoveries, buried fragments of ancient knowledge resurfacing to the light like arrowheads to archaeologists. Who are you? Little is known about the mysterious woman in the Jade Mask. She is occasionally seen in Undermare, but people understandingly avoid her cold demeanour. Okay. Jade- woman in the Jade Mask, she has been seen in her visions, haunted by a strange creature 
<laughs> Burbage is a rich man who inherited a fortune but never experienced the love of his parents. He expects people to do his bidding and is quick to anger. Yeah, there are many who would be glad to see the back of him, but with wealth comes power and a few would challenge him to his face. And then there's the cultist. Okay. There's somebody I haven't met yet. I wonder, if I go exploring... If I go exploring... Is there anything I can find in Rydal Cave, if that's on here? A dark pool sits in the belly of the cavernous opening of Rydal Cave. I suppress a shudder at the thought of a monster that could lurk beneath its serene surface. Okay. Nothing really. Okay. Well, I can check out the Tomb of the Hunter next time I have the will to explore up. It's B14. For right now, though, I've got a bunch of stuff here that I haven't figured out. Like, that's done, but it's not put away yet. It's not archived. This is done for. Hopefully it's archived soon. I still don't know what Kentmere Eye is. Kentmere. I went to. And there was nothing there. I don't think there was anything that, uh... The Daughters is a stone circle. I don't think there's anything that says Kentmere Eye on here. Kentmere wasn't the answer. Huh. I tells me nothing, E-Y-E. -E. Um, at best, I can think, like, east, something east, but there's no... Y isn't any cardinal direction, so that doesn't mean anything. I don't know what that means. Okay, let's ring the bell. Oh, Jade Mask Lady is back. My mind is clouded. Dark. I see it, and it sees me. All of me. Elder Finium is the answer. It must be. I will not forget those who help me, a horticulturist. Okay. This causes an antidote to Dendro's miasma. Okay. One second. I could swear... Elder Finium grows here. I went there. Q30. What did I find? Did I mark it? I don't think I did. I don't think I did, but this is the thing. I think this is the thing. Okay. Got a new thing for Larkshine? Okay, stinging bulbs, kidney flower, kidney shaped seeds, spiny pods. Okay. It's for another time. I really need to uh, label flowers as soon as I find them with the uh, knowledge. Okay. Oh, you're new. Grace and Wright. My mom was into horticulture. Found this among her things. Golden light. That's a plant, right? I'm not sure what long meg could mean, though. Is that another plant? Anyway, I thought you should have it just in case it's any help. She loved this shop. Golden light. Start at long meg. South three east two. Long Meg. Long Meg. Is there anything that could be abbreviated to Long Meg? Um It's gotta be something that I can conceivably go south two and east uh three on. South 3 and East 2 on, rather. So it can't be anything too far down here or too far over here, right? It's gotta be somewhere, like, reasonably up here. So. Long Meg. Long Meg. Okay. 
Foxfield, Roseville, Twinkle Crags, Collision Gale, Jack's Rake, Red Great Gable, Sequel Pike, Red Cave, Grasmere, Fairfield Park, Dungeon Hill, Foxhead Long, Old Man, Torver. Um. Of course, there's not going to be Long Meg on my map. But what could it stand for? I'm just going to be puzzling over this for a moment. Um, this feels like it should be some form of word puzzle. Hold on. Gonna... Just in case. No, no extra information on it. Okay. Long Meg. It's not something dumb like an anagram, is it? I don't think so. Can't get much from Meg except for Gem, if you keep them separated, and I don't think there's anything with Gem in it. It doesn't seem to be an abbreviation. Um... I doubt they do anything really intense, like, uh, like having to know linguistics, like, um, oh, like, for example, the whole thing with Brock meaning badger. I, I don't think they'd require you to know that in order to solve the puzzle. I at least I hope they wouldn't. However, Long Meg... I wonder if I'm supposed to, like, do more of the game and talk to people, and someone will be like, Oh yeah, that's like, that's like another name for this place. Or an older name for it or something. I'll leave it be for now. I still don't know what Kentmere I is. Unfortunately. Still don't know what this is. Okay. Anne would help me. The amulet. I can't remove it, it's drawing the life from me. Oh no. Long Vericund. Okay, Long Vericund. Um. Yeah, yeah this is probably you shouldn't mess with things like that. Um, which is remedy. Believe to lift, lift curses. Small leaves grow in pairs along the stem, and it's something I haven't identified yet. Uh, let's see, let's see, what have I got here? Leaves that grow in pairs along a stem. I'm thinking it might be this. That's the one. I can feel it working, thank you. Okay. Fixed it. Reversed it completely. Good. Coldry. Application to dark magic, but this author has found neither substance nor specifics to back up those claims. Those who worship the Huntress Arduina. Oh, she's a Huntress. Place the flowers an offering to ensure a successful hunt. It grows from a thin stem with small leaves. Interesting. Huh. I wonder if the Huntress tomb has anything to do with this because of the Huntress thing. Caldery. We can try and look for the Huntress tomb, actually. B14. Go for it. The memorial bears the name Swaif Pryor. It stirs a memory. He was one of the Drear. Theirs is a lonely life at the mercy of a dangerous addiction. They build a tolerance to the Dranthium sap in childhood that they might benefit from its potent effects, but they will die if they stop taking it. An unusual plant grows sparsely around the memorial. go up here, instead of in the middle of the mushrooms. Long thin leaves that bear surprisingly sharp edges. 
Okay, I think I remember something about sharp-edged leaves in my book, but I'm not gonna go digging right now. Let's ring the bell and see who comes in. Hey, Miss Duncan, you're the one who kept sending me letters. It's good to see you, my friend. I've been on the road for so long, I'd started to wonder if you were still on the other end of the letters I've been sending. I'm back in town for a few days, though, and wanted to give you these before I forgot. I found them in the pocket of an overcoat that belonged to your uncle. I almost threw them away, but I thought the symbols on them might mean something to you, I swear to God, if this is more like- Hey! Okay. 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 What orders do they have to be in? Oh, 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 oh! The tears match! The tears match! Okay, okay, okay. What have I got? What have I got? That goes there, for sure. Pretty sure, at least. It doesn't match perfectly. Maybe not. Maybe it's this. Yeah, it's that one. Okay. I think you go here and you go here. Yep. Okay, let's make this work. One of those. Five petals. Yes. Four. Got it. Upside down bell. And three petal. What did I get? What did I get? What did I get? Okay. I've got... Oh my goodness. Trimble Huff. Decoration of the wedding. This is thought to strengthen relationships. Uh, small cup like flowers. Point downwards to avoid filling with water. Yep. Okay. Okay. Got that. And we've got a Devil's Night Trap. Corpse's friend. If ingested as a seed, as a seed, it will cause a slow, agonizing death, and the plant will grow out of the body once deceased. Great. Light, pleasant scent, not dissimilar to pine needles. Boiling the root in vinegar creates a tonic against fevers and poisons, which is fun. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. So, Robert Barrow's medicinal herbology, Blackhall Road, Kendall. That's a place to go. Gosforth. Gosforth. A coin. I don't know. Okay. A briar's disc, often called a smuggler's disc, is a simple device that can be used to send coded messages. The location of cached cargo, for example. The principle is cunningly straightforward, but the code is undecipherable to prying eyes. Both parties must be in possession of a disc of identical size with the same symbols as around its edge and a map. To encode the location, you would then place the disc over some named point on the map nearby and note whichever symbol is pointing to the location it may be necessary to string multiple symbols together. I. Kendall I. Okay, hold on a second. Kentmere, Kentmere, Kentmere. Not Kendall, Kentmere. Kentmere, where's the I? There. Okay, is it pointing more at this square or this square? I can't quite tell because there's... It's not quite perfectly sent. Okay, I think if I open the map for wandering's sake, then it'll uh, line up better. Mm. Okay, will to explore. Let's go. Where's my little disc? Kentmere. You're still not perfectly online. Okay, it could be here. It could be there. Or if you're supposed to, like, I don't know. I I'm assuming you have to line it up with the square. Uh, let's go for that one, because that's the one the, uh, the pointy bit is on. From Kentmere, I follow the bearing of the eye and end up in a small forest north of Kendall. The woods are thick with briar and brambles, but amongst the tangled undergrowth, a type of flower is flourishing. Alright, we got something with berries on. Get out of my mushrooms, go over here. You belong with these. But I am starting to lose, uh, space up there. My, uh, there we go. My flowerless ones should go down here. Berries up there. Okay. Yeah, that's what the thing is. It's a smuggler's disc. Okay. Also, I've got something on in Kendall for medicinal herbology. Where is Kendall? There it is. Okay, so that'll, I think, be the next place to go to. Right. Okay, that answers that. 
Unfortunately, I still don't know what Long Meg is. Put those away. These still glow in blue? Yes, they are. It's alright. Let's put those away. I don't think I need them anymore. Figure that out. I have no idea what that is. Okay. Okay. Let's go to the uh, next person. Simone, you're back! I have no idea what any of this means, but it seemed something you might find interesting. I found it while clearing out the nook off the east wing. Braylock's elixir. Crushed petals of three distinctive plants. Braylock's elixir is potent aid to memory, allowing those to drink to ensure they retain important information that they will never forget. Care must be taken after drinking, however, to avoid the fate of Grey Gale, who slowly lost her mind after taking Braylock and staring at a blank wall for 12 hours. Okay. Interesting. Um. Oh boy. Oh, uh, let's let's go to Kendall. Just because. Let's just do it. I find the medicinal herbology so shop af black off Black Hall Road. I know you, says the man behind the counter, Robert Barrow, presumably. You're the owner of Strange Horticulture. Two hours later, after a lengthy and engaging discussion covering a variety of botanical subjects, we decide on a trade. It turns out that Robert is a collector of unusual fungi, and I have just the thing for him. What's cap what's copper caledonian? I have not identified it fully yet. Um more a curse than a blessing. Oh, oh, yep, it's the one that I tentatively identified. That's the one. Okay. Oh, I got three new plants. Oh man. Okay, look at those. Alright, you're a weird one. And you are like trumpets. Let's put you over here close enough. Okay. That's the end of this day. Don't know what Braylock's elixir is. That's done. I don't know where Long Meg is. Okay. Baylock's elixir. I keep putting an R in there. Let's end the day, let's get a card, and let's see what else the story has to say. In Tibet, a noble elder stood silently, watching starry skies. In Tibet, north, east, south, south, west, south, south. A young woman alone in the world, she was taken in by the sisterhood and given a home. It was a chance for redemption, a new start. Okay. Saturday. Okay. I still have all those flower things on my uh, in my thing. What else am I supposed to do with them? I've already put them in order. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's going to be annoying. Okay, we can go exploring, because I'm pretty sure I know how that works. Where are you? Where is Tibe? There it is. Tibe. Noble. Elder. Stood. Silently. Watching. Starry skies. I find myself on a patch of moorland surrounded by jagged peaks and menacing clouds. A distinctive plant stands out against the swathes of purple heather. And there, another. Okay, I've got two new ones. They're kind of pretty. I like them. Take a closer look. Pleasant fresh aroma. And flowers are deep blue. Quite beautiful, really. Okay. Alright, so... There's that. What's Gosforth? There. I think next time we go exploring just at random, I think we might go to Gosforth. Just to see if there's anything there. For now, ring, ring a bell. Simone's back. 
Long Meg. Sorry, I've not heard of it, but I'll keep an eye out for you in the library. As long as you can get me some fever kiss, that is. Too many late lights at the library are taking their toll. Have I identified fever kiss officially? I have not. I might have a guess. Uh, yep, that's the red berries. That was the one I guessed at. Okay. Collect. Mountain Astery. Aura of confidence and persuasiveness. Large cup-like flowers produce a stale, damp smell. Uh, I'm not sure. It doesn't say anything about smell. Okay. Hey, mail. Let's talk about town around town of a woman who wears a green mask made of jade. There are all sorts of oddballs in Undermere, but that's certainly unusual. Oh. Oh, so many, uh... Beckfoot candle. Well, now I know how this works. Alright, where's Beckfoot? Um... <laughs> Beckfoot? Candle. Let's go. The candle leads me east of Wait of Wastwater. To the north, the mightily, mighty uh, scaffold pike grazes the sky, the tallest peak in England. England? And think, okay. The challenge beckons to me. Perhaps another time. Okay. That might be something to look into. Oh, spiky pods. I think I remembered something about that one. All right, you weird plant. Where do you want to go? I probably should start putting the spiky ones together, but I have not. You're just gonna put. I'm just gonna put you with the weirdos. Okay, so I've got that. That's done. Might climb a mountain. Might go to Gosforth. Let's ring a bell. Oh, Forrest is back. I'm talking to people around town, trying to learn as much as I can about this beast that is rumored to have been seen in these parts. In the old world, they called this thing the Servant, but the people here seem to have forgotten that name. Except the group calling themselves the Seeds of Redemption. They are something I did not expect, and they have made it clear they want me to stay away from the Servant. They seem to worship it. But I'm getting distracted. My Dranthium supplies are low. I need more. Yep, okay. Dranthium. So, long, sharp leaves. I think I remember something about one with leaves that are very sharp to the touch. It's just, where did I put it? I think this is the one. Okay, collect. Pallians. Most plants offer a small improvement to air quality, but the pallians is a class of its own. It is sometimes called sweet breath thanks to the freshness of the air in its vicinity. The many short leaves of this plant are thought to help filter toxins from the surrounding air. Okay. Hello, Reuben. How many investigations? I crept around Black Comb two nights ago in the pitch black. The eye bright is some potent stuff. I could see clear as day. Up on the fell, I found a shallow pit full of skulls. Some deer, fox, badger, and some human. There was an eerie silence about the place, and every part of me was screaming to get out of there. Yeah. Back down on the flat, I heard a terrible noise, like an axe maker's whetstone, but unmistakably animal. High on the ridge line. I saw a cowled woman wearing a jade mask watching me, and beside her, something dark, inhuman, and bloody huge. I don't mind admitting that I'm out of my depth on this one. I need to speak to Verona again. While I'm here, I'll grab some wild coal for my pounding head. You'd have been out drinking too if you'd seen what I did. <laughs> Okay. Purple berries. Okay. So I should have put in my berry stuff. Is this purple? Purple red. That might be the one. That is. Okay. Norwood. A bite of this crunchy root of this plant has the effect of a cold bucket of water thrown over the face. An unpleasant sensation accompanied by a sharp focus. All right. Only under unnatural light, like like maybe this, like maybe this thing I have. 
Do any of these things glow? Hmm. Not particularly. Okay. Now, I was gonna go to a couple of different places just to kind of check them out. Uh, let's try... There was Gosforth, and then what was the other one? I know there was Gosforth. I don't remember the other I was thinking of. Oh, right. The mountain. Like, try climbing it. Uh, let's try Gosforth first. I should not have come here. Darkness hangs over this town like an executioner's blade. I feel a rising dread in my chest. So, okay. Okay. Exploring too much or in the wrong places can be bad. That was not a clue. You don't glow, do you? I should have checked. No. Okay. So, not a good idea. Emily Costigan. Well, this looks like the right place. I don't want to have to traipse all over the way over to Red Pike, so hopefully you've got what I'm after. It's a non-flowering plant with smallish leaves, and it seems to grow mostly on Red Pike. At least, that's the only place I found it. Okay. I think that was common trouse. Okay. We got it. Ring the bell. Hello, Verona. Poor Reuben, he looks a little worse for wear this morning. He took it hard when his wife died and never did quite give up on the drink. I wonder if he's the guy in that in that between chapters, between days story. Fell to drink, lost his daughter, like she left. I think I know what rituals performed at the stone circle. It all adds up. It was a summoning spell. Something called something across the void and tried to bring it here. And with the state of that body all torn to shreds, I'd say it is succeeded. Okay. And then the Gilded Dendra, that really got me thinking. I found this in Dr. Worthing's Beastiary. A little light reading for you. I'm heading to Grisdale Forest again. The Sisterhood will know more. Collect. It has many names. Some call it the Woken Dendru, believing it to be related in some way to the del deadly Gilded Dendra plant. Dendru's what that cult worships, right? Others call it the Night Stalker, the Miasma, or the Dread, but the most common name for it in the Shires is the Servant. Yep, you'll have heard of it. In children's songs such as Keep the Fire Burning and Servant and Master, and there are hints of it in the older stories, but nobody alive has seen it in the flesh. It is said that the, dread, the dead ground northeast of Tibet, where nothing but black indigenous mortis grows, was caused when the servant last walked our lands hundreds of years ago. Northeast of Tibet, and I got will to explore, so I am clearly meant to go there. Directly northeast, like one square? Let's give it a try. The wide area of blackened ground here is known to the locals as Dead Man's Field. Dark mushrooms protrude from the soil like fingers reaching out from the grave. Okay. Got a terrible new mushroom and uh, eerily like a ghostly hand. Okay. There is a beast on the loose. The cult worships it. The hunters are trying to find it. I still don't know where Long Meg is. Alright. Let's go ahead and end the day. Get a card. Get a bit of story. And we'll pick this up again next time. So. It's blank. It is completely blank. Every day she attentively followed the teachings of the Arda. Every day she patiently performed the tasks given to her. Every day thoughts of the book itched away at the back of her mind. Okay. Until next time.